Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, it's time to finish the original um, Tamiya Blackfoot. Now, I've been stalling on this one. I kept saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it and I kept putting it off. Um, and there's a reason for that, it's because it's a hard body. Um, but we'll go back into that in a bit. Um, so, we've... We've already done the full chassis restore and the thing looks absolutely gorgeous. All period correct electrics in it, uh, mechanical speed controller, uh, put some tyre decals on, it's got brand new original tyres on, I think it's got new original wheels on from memory. And of course we've got this superb original Blackfoot body set which um, cost a lot of money so I've got to be on the ball when I do this one. Um, now. I've dug some paint out and I just need to double check, we've got TS14 black, I'm pretty sure that's the correct paint for it, but I will just check that before we get cracking. Um, I also bought um, a Sharpie chrome silver um, paint pen, and that's because obviously on this body, it's got the, because it's original, it's got the big Ford emblem stamped on the back tailgate and it's got it right at the front a lot smaller on the um, the bonnet so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do the silver um, chrome effect with this now I used this on the Subaru Brat body which I'll show you quickly um, and that worked a treat so before we get into this I'll just quickly explain why I've been putting this one off for a little bit so the reason is it's because I did this shell and if you've ever done a Subaru Brat hard body um, it's extremely time consuming and as you guys know I'm not the best of painters so this one really sort of stretched me um, and I, I have done everything on it um, the video is out now on this should you want to see it but we did all the, the gold window frames we even did the back edge of the bed obviously the grills and we did all the badges in silver and whatever and it took me uh, I can't remember I think it was about four days to get this this thing done and at that time i was due to go straight onto the blackfoot on my project list but i've got to be honest that just took it out of me i was like no let's just do a few more easier things anyway that was literally like god i think i finished this one about four weeks ago so i, I really have procrastinated and uh, not touched that so uh, let's open this box up and see what we get Right, so that's all the goodies you get in the uh, the box, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, obviously, you can appreciate how old this is, and to uh, to find a new inbox one, obviously you got to pay a top dollar for it. So, um, first steps is obviously to get the black onto the body shell, um, the tailgate, and the um, sunroof. So all this is going to have to come off. The rest of the parts on that tray are just the driver. Um, we also want to get the same black paint on the um, roll bar and spotlights so we'll probably have to just make the um, roll bar and spotlights up um, first of all just to um, get it in one piece as it were so we can just get the paint on it so yeah roll bars with spotlights main body shell and that rear tailgate that's the um, first part of call Right, so that's all the parts for it that we're going to put the black on straight away. So I've, I've trimmed all the inside of the, where the sunroof grows. So that's the sunroof. Sunroof's an optional thing on the black foot. Um, it can go like that. Um, you can glue it on, but I don't see the point in that. Or you can leave it open. It'd be pretty cool, actually, if you could raise it up. I'm sure you could somehow. That'd look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we've got that trimmed. Obviously the tailgate's ready to go and I've built the roll bar section fully up. I've masked where those, keep those threads clean. But my thinking is behind this, because this doesn't move, and this is an out and out shelf queen as well, that I might as well just put the paint on as it all together like that. I'll get it a lot more evenly. Um, and then it'll save me having to, once it's painted, having to build it up and risking scratching it and all that. So yeah, that's all good to go. I just need to clean this now. And then, as I say, it's definitely TS14. Um, I double checked in the instructions, which is nice. And let's start putting some layers of paint on. Right, that's the paint on. Um, looks pretty decent to me. I've not gone overly thick with it. Um, less, is a bit more, less is more on this for now. But um, yeah, 
Um, obviously I've got to let it dry and harden now. So I'm not going to do another thing with this today and we'll pick it back up tomorrow. But um, yeah, first indications are good. Right, so I've actually left that for 48 hours now. I want it to be sort of properly hardened. Um, so as I say, that's two days gap in between. So the next stage what I'm doing, oh and I have to say, really happy with the finish. You know, it's, considering it's out of the can, I think that's pretty decent. So next up now is to mask this front um, windscreen. Um, this rim of the front windscreen needs to be in chrome silver. So um, I'm looking at it, and the front looks way easy to way way easier to mask than the Subaru Brat did. I really struggled to get the masking down here. So we'll get that masked up, um, and I'll brush paint that on with um, Tamiya um, Silver. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get that done next. Right, so that's it masked up, and then I've give it the um, its first coat, um, which I have to do a little bit more, but it's not going on that well. So it might take two or three coats and I need to get on the insides as well. But um, we'll let that dry and then we'll go around the insides, let that dry and then we'll go around the outside the final time. Um, we're using um, Tamiya X11 which is chrome. Um, I just bought that for this truck actually. So um, yeah, we'll leave that now. Next job is the tailgate on the Ford emblem to do that in silver. Now. When I got this this job to do, I bought this Sharpie pen. Um, I think it's it's oil burst. I think it's ultra fine, extra fine point. Now I used that on the Subaru shell um, for the detailing, and it was superb. So I'm going to give this a really good shake, warm it up a little bit, and then we'll see if we can get this painted in silver. I want to do this one first because we have got the same to do down here on the Ford emblem but that's going to be a little bit tricky so let's do the easier one first right that's the first coat on um, just spotted some bits I need to just go over but I'll, I'll let that harden now um, but that looks pretty good I have to say I'm quite happy with that but that is the easy one doing that on the front is going to be a lot harder um, with shaky hands and bad eyesight, <laughs> even with um, even with magnifying glasses, but yeah, I've uh, I'm happy with that. That's um, so yeah. We'll let um, so we'll let all this harden now, and then we'll come back and we'll stick another coat on the inside. Oops, sorry, another coat on the inside of the windscreen, and then we'll go over this again when it's fully hardened. But I'll give it an hour or something. Okay, so while I'm waiting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blast over the driver section. Um, the head, the steering wheel and the body with um, the fine surface, surface primer because it'll just make it, e with it going white it'll just make, well the paint will go on a bit better but it'll make it easy, easier for me to see the detail so we'll get a coat or two of that on next Right, so that's the second coat on around the windscreen that should be good enough so I'll let that harden um, for at least a couple of hours and then we'll take that masking off um, I've given the Ford emblem a second coat now and I'm much happier with that and then I've just given the lights of the bottom half of the lights the first coat of red that'll be two coats and then we'll whiz that masking off remask it over the red and then the top of the lights are white um, and then finally as I said I've done the I've just primed over the driver but that'll be I'll get this I want to get this finished uh, I also want to get, once this is hardened, then I want to attempt the Ford emblem on the front in silver. And then, effectively, that's the body shell and the tailgate finished. Although, the chrome bumper has to go on there, but I can do that at a later date. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Right, quick recap of where we're up to. So, the tailgate is now finished, apart from the, um, the chrome bumper to put on with three screws. But the painting's finished. Um... When I was flicking through the instructions, you have to um, put a black pen on the bottom of the back screen because uh, obviously the underneath of that sits on the bed. So I didn't realise that, so I've done that now. Um, body wise, the um, windows have come up a tree, the front windows come up a tree, and I've also done the Ford emblem on the front, and that looks really cool as well. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that now. So next up, what I'll do is, I'll, this, this glues in, so I'll, I'll set that um, 
because that'll take some time to dry so we'll get that glued in um, and I'll make a start on the uh, driver which is pretty straightforward the main body's in white I'm going to go with black seat belts, silver buckles flesh colour hands um, brown hair, flesh face some eyebrows on there so it's pretty straightforward on a black steering wheel as well so we'll um, by the, well, we'll we'll get cracking with that, but that's gonna. By the time I put the different bits of paint on, it's probably gonna take a day to finish it. But um, we'll definitely get that done today. Um, and then when I've got all that done, I'll put all that together. We'll put the decal decals on the three spotlights, get the roll bar mounted, windscreens in, driver fitted, rear tailgate on, and then it's just gonna leave the front chrome bumper, which I've got real big concerns about right now. Um, that may way that, that probably is way above my um, pay grade in painting skills, but um, we'll go into that once I've just got all that other stuff done. Right, just before I do anything else, I thought I'd just quickly show you the driver. Um, so what I've done there is I've left the white suit um, just in the primer colour because I really like it. It looks a little bit weathered, a little bit aged. Um, obviously black seat belt, sil silver block up buckles. Um, sorry, I was struggling to hold it like that. Gone for brown hair instead of black on this one. We did the Subaru driver with black. Um, flesh hands, black steering wheel. So yeah, that's just drying now. Oh, I put some white eyes and um, black dots. I need to redo the black dots on his eyes um, with a different pen. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Rambling Ron is alive. So what's next? Um, I've had that body shell upright letting that back window glow. So I think we'll get the chrome bumper on the tailgate next. Um, fit the front windscreen. Yeah, fit the rear tailgate and then we can have a look at putting decals on the spotlights and getting that um, the spot the roll cage mounted. So that's it all together now. Um, I just wanted to see how it all fits together. I'm, just, I'm still not gluing the sunroof bit in, in case he doesn't want that. Um, so obviously roll cages in. Makes it a bit easier to pick up now. Front grills on. That looks super sweet. But again, I'm really, I'm really worried about that because that's got to be painted. Um, back grill, back windows are in. That looks absolutely superb. And obviously the drivers in but it gets lost a little bit in there but um, yeah let's just stick it on the chassis well I have to say that looks equally as good without the decals on it that looks superb the shell needs polishing there's fingerprints and hairs all over it at the moment but um, you get the gist of it that Ford emblem has come out of tree really happy with windows um, driver yeah it looks good in there does get a little bit lost in there unfortunately but rear grill yeah I'm happy with that I think I'm gonna take a little break from it now because um, what I'm gonna do next is get all the decals on I'm gonna leave that grill to the end I, I put my feelers out on how to paint it but as you guys know that's like rocking horse poo that and I just don't want to take any chances of destroying it you know I get painted in the wrong place, how am I going to take it off? I don't want to take any chrome off. So I'm going to leave that to the end, but um, yeah, right now that looks great. Right, so here's the last part. Look at those. They'll be worth a little uh, small fortune, won't they? Original decal sealed. So we'll get all these cut out first. Um, just one thing I wanted to show you very quickly was I'd forgotten to paint the door handles in silver. Um, again, I just did that with the Sharpie marker pen and um, they came out a treat. So yeah, very happy with that. So uh, yeah, let's get the decals cut out. Okay, my friends, it's what we like to call squeaky bum time right now. So as you can see, I've cut the sort of main decals for the body out. Also the free spotlights. Um, obviously, I'm just going to get the spotlight, um, the daylighters on first and then obviously these are the tricky ones now had this been a 2016 re-re or mci decals you just go for it you know but i've got a, i'm anxious right now i don't often get anxious about doing stuff like this because i quite enjoy decaling but it's just 
you know you know what it's like when it's original anyway let's uh let's get it going and it begins <laughs> is there any more iconic spotlight decals than the blackfoot ones possibly the hot shot or probably they're on an equal basis but um it's it's funny i know we i alluded to earlier that the truck looks awesome without decals but just with those spotlight decals on you could have that sort of finished of that it just it looks absolutely superb just my opinion right next up let's dig it out it's not that one it's this one so next up is getting these main decals on which i am slightly concerned about um just don't want to make any mistakes you can see how it just transforms it can't you straight away anyway fingers crossed and the shell's done and that was honestly absolutely horrendous i hated every second of it i'm not sure what was sort of going on with the decals um could be age don't know if they've had a bit of dampness I, I don't know but i just really struggled to work with them um and i felt they were stretching as well um so we have got a few sort of very small wrinkles here and there that i just can't smooth out i've tried the hair dryer i've tried all the techniques i know now don't get me wrong you know it's it's a it looks great it um, it looks superb I'm just so glad it's done it was um, yeah, it was awful it really was now I've only gone the 100% box art with it on the decals because you do get a few other sponsor decals here and there to put on um, but I've just gone as I say 100% box art Ford logo at the back how cool is that um, but yeah I'm just I'm just really glad it's done obviously the grills to do at a later date but um, yeah that's kind of all the, it's funny because when I, I did the Subaru Brat shell as you know and that's the hardest shell I've ever done and um, when I decided alright we'll get the we'll get the Blackfoot started I thought yeah it's going to be way easier but it, it has its own challenges obviously it's a hard shell so uh, anyway it's done let's bang it on the chassis boom she's done looks great looks very nice it's it's funny the because um, I've done a few of these in the past and uh, the majority of them have been a 2016 Riri um, the, the decals were better thought of on the Riri they had cuts in certain places that before you put it on you made little cuts and then you could you make the folds whereas this it, it didn't and um, I definitely wasn't gonna make the cuts myself just in case I got it wrong it just wasn't for me wasn't worth taking that risk but uh, <laughs> yeah it's nice it's nice and obviously it's fully 100% original which is um, the main thing and I do I, I like the tie decals I think I think they look good on obviously BF Goodridge yeah it's a classic isn't it I don't think I've ever heard anyone say yeah I'm not keen on the Blackfoot <laughs> So I'll leave it 24 hours and then I'll go back to the decals and see if anything's lifted. I've got a sneaky feeling some might lift slightly and we'll get the hair hot, well, yeah, the hair dryer out again and um, smooth them off and see what we're left with. But um, yeah, you've got to be happy with that, haven't you? Old rambling Ron, it's looking pretty sweet. And she's done. And it looks great, looks absolutely superb. Again, as I say, you know, I, I am critical of myself, and but I don't think I've ever done a perfect car ever. And I don't know a lot of you people, all the guys on the group say, in 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 conversation, I've heard people kind of say, basically make out that everything they do is perfect. Yeah, I'm not so sure, but um, yeah, very happy with this. Uh, I'm just so glad it's over. Um, from start to finish, I mean, I've been putting it off for a long time as well. But, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a weight off my shoulders now that this is done. Now, obviously, as I said, I'll go back to it in 24 hours, see if anything's lifted or whatever. But right now, it looks pretty good. Um, I do have to figure out what I'm going to do with that grill. 
lots of guys and shout out to Mika, RC Hobby Shed. He, um, he told me what to do, but I don't have the right stuff. It's basically you either buy the correct really thin paint, like that wash paint they do on, on the Tamiya models, and it kind of runs into the nooks and crannies everywhere. Um, or you can sort of, the XF paint I can use, but I need to buy some thinners to, to water that stuff down. So it's all stuff I've never done before. Um, but yeah, oh, I've got another option. I might contact some people I know over here and say if they're, they're fancy painting it for me. I just, it's the last thing on the truck and it's the one thing that you could really mess up badly. If you put normal paint on it, like I was thinking a mask, someone even said, don't use a particular masking tape because it can lift the mark of the chrome. You know, I mean, I don't want to take that risk. So yeah, I'm, as I say, I'll put it away for a bit, but I'll bear in mind that that has to be finished. Um, I've got a bit of time before the guy's collecting it. Um, but it 100% needs to be done. It's a it's a massive part of the overall look of the car to have that grill done correctly. Now, funny enough, um, on a, when I, 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 on a Tammy Le Legends Facebook group, I put a message on how have people done it. Now, most of them were showing me pictures of a re re grill, which is completely different. Um, but on the uh, most of the originals that are done, they'd they'd filled in all the sort of individual holes in black, and then they'd left the chrome lines on the top round the middle bit and right across it and it looks great but that's not actually box art the instructions tell you that full section just should be black and then obviously the inside of there's four lights and the inside of each light chrome actual light and then the the four edges around that should be black so there's a fair bit of work to do with that if i'm honest but um yeah um so that's the subaru brat done now the black foot's done We've got one hard body left to do, which is a original clod buster. So um, yeah, I might I might wait for a little bit um, before I start that. Anyway, that's enough of me drabbling on. So guys, once again, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, Happy ass scene.